guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Italy today we are in my bathroom <laughs> I say my bathroom because it's the one that I use most of the times and my husband is using the one downstairs so if I call it my bathroom you know why so today I'm showing you the process of decorating this bathroom of course we are going thrifting not one but two times <laughs> and then we are going to shop for plants and then of course I'll show you the final result it's gonna be very fun and now let's begin with the video since the day I came here in this house I noticed that the plants love to stay here in the bathroom especially inside the bathtub don't ask me why but of course I can't keep them inside the bathtub so I have to find other places where to put them and this is kind of the, the main thing that I'm trying to do with this decoration I'm trying to put the plants in the right positions so they can get as much light as possible and of course I'm trying to you know make a good composition to make this bathroom look beautiful I hope you'll enjoy it well this is our starting point here's how the bathroom looked like about one year ago there's a big bathtub there's a wooden floor and since it's an Italian bathroom we also have the bidet on the left there's the sink and then we installed this big mirror to make the room seem more spacious the walls are covered with white and grey tiles and then we have these wooden beams on the ceiling, beautiful! And from the round window you can see our garden. Then last summer I got this washing board to display some plants, you've seen it in one of my videos, and this really gave me the right inspiration to decorate this bathroom with other plants. And there's no jungle without some folding plants, so I found these hanging baskets and hung them to the beams. At this point I started to shop online for second-hand homeware. Your rug is here. Let me see. Voila! Oh yes! It's beautiful! This is the other one. I still don't know if I will use both of these rugs. I love the effect of two layered rugs, but I'm afraid they will cover the wooden floor too much. I've been on the hunt for months for a couple or a trio of small vintage shelves to put on the wall, but I really couldn't find them, so I got them brand new from a retail shop. <laughs> Risultato del primo giorno di lavoro. Due buchi, ma non ce l'abbiamo fatta. Anyway, we finally managed to fix them. I found this étagère at an antiques market like 10 years ago. Uh, I paid 80 euros for it and I guess it was made to display plants. I used it in my bathroom when I was living alone in my hometown, but I think it looks perfect also here. I got four of these boxes and I will use them as a storage because I don't want to see anything displayed on the shelves so I will put creams, makeup, everything inside these boxes. These were 12 euros each from a retail shop but it would have been quite impossible to find them secondhand and they match with the color of the walls so it was worth it. Boxes are always a good solution when you're decorating because you need to hide some things to give more importance to the beautiful pieces you're going to decorate with. You know that I'm not a minimalist, so this is just the starting point. And now let's go thrifting. My mom and I come once a month to visit our favorite charity shop. As you've probably seen in my other videos, in the last months I collected many pieces that I would like to style in my bathroom, but I still need a couple of things and here I'm sure that I will find them. I'm always looking also for other items for my house and also for my online shop. Um, this ice packet is so cute. The price is 4 euros and I think it's coming home with us. So 
salt and pepper shakers, they have a jungle vibe. I love this hand painted tray. Where could I display it? Mm. The price is only 5 euros. I sold a couple of similar candlesticks a while ago. These are 2 euros 50 each. But this tribal candle holder caught my attention. It is only 3 euros and it would be cool styled in my bathroom. And what about this chunky candle? Isn't it nice? This base has a nice shape, the price is 10 euros. Does anybody know why this is 10 euros? Another cute small vase, it is signed with a double J. If you know something about this mark, please let me know down in the comments. The price is 5 euros. In this charity shop they always have a wide choice of planters and this big one caught my attention. 3 euros is a very good price for a planter with these dimensions and I need more planters to put under our gazebo in the garden so I'm surely grabbing it. We can't leave the shop without having a look to the clothes section. These off-white linen pants are by Max & Co, M size, 16 euros 80 cents. Here we always find very good deals. I spotted also this linen shirt by Max Mara. It's an S size, so it should fit me and it's only 12 euros. Mm. Carino. Quanto costa? 5. <laughs> no, dai, 5 euro? Sì, 5. 5. Vabbè. We love colors, but today we are finding only white garments. I'm trying on the linen pants and the shirt, but they are both too big for me, so I'm leaving them behind. I found these green shorts, and also the Valentino top is nice, and I'm sorry for my mom, but it's in my size. After visiting the charity shop, my mom and I always come to this flower shop. We enjoy having a look to the shop, but what's most interesting is the backyard. We call this place Le Piantine da Salvare, literally the plants to save. There are racks filled with withered and forgotten plants, and most of the times they only need a bit of love to bloom again. The price range is between 1 euro and 3 euros for plants that would retail up to 40 euros at the nursery. Okay, so we are thrifting for plants. Uh, this one is for my mom. This one is for my garden. Then we have two fake plants. This is Anturium. This is Curcuma, very big. And then, uh, uh, what's the name of this one? I don't know. This is broken, but there's no problem. Um, one euro each. At the cash desk, I found also a couple of tiny orchids and this fake white flower, the original price was eight euros 50. I got it for two euros. And then these dry flowers discounted to one euro. Okay, so we are back. Um, but before showing you my haul, I just want to remind you that if you like this kind of content, you should definitely consider subscribing to this channel because here I publish videos about vintage hunting, flea markets, home decor, fashion, vintage fashion, styling. This is really the greatest hobby for me and I like to share it with you. So uh, yeah, subscribe. 
Okay, so let's start with the first haul of the day. In the last year, I collected many items that I would like to put here in my bathroom. Of course, the bathroom is small. I can't put everything here, so I'm going to select. But today I'm showing you all the things that I got in that charity shop that you've seen. So yeah, not all the items are for this bathroom, of course. <laughs> let's start. I got this pretty vase, it reminds me of something ethnic. I don't really know where it can come from, but it's beautiful and I got it for 5 euros. I got this green candle, it's really heavy <laughs> and it has two lips, I like it because it reminds me of nature and I will surely use it here, you know, sometimes I like to take a bath here in the bathtub and I like to light up the candles, it rarely happens but when it happens I like to do the things well made. Then I got the ice bucket, do I need it? No. Is it cute? Yes. And I will surely find that things to pick up the ice cubes very soon, thrifting somewhere else, so I'm very happy with this one. Well, you know that here on my channel we also talk about vintage fashion and thrifted fashion in general. So today I got some pretty pieces. The first one is this pair of shorts. They are really lovely with the little stars and this belt that is really interesting because it has totally different colors, but they they really go well together. I got them for 6 euros and I will surely style them in one of my next videos, so stay tuned. Of course, I got the Valentino Garavani top. This was a real good bargain, I couldn't leave it behind. And it's a basic piece that you can style with many, many other things. Also with the, the shorts that you've seen, they match perfectly. And this is kind of a vintage piece because the label is quite old. Then you didn't see it in the video, but I also tried on this cute uh, uh, dress. It's green because the theme of the day was green and I was so drawn to everything green. <laughs> and so this was uh, 8 euros, it's by H&M, but it is uh, a good quality fabric. I will wear it very soon because I'm going on a surprise weekend abroad with my husband. It's uh, his gift for my birthday, I'm very excited. Of course. I will make the videos there so I won't tell you the destination because I want it to be a surprise for you too but of course stay tuned for that. I think you didn't see it in the video but I also found this pretty figurine it's made of ceramic and it shows two seagulls I think it has the mark of Capodimonte which is a town very famous for its ceramics so this is a very nice piece and I will resell it online in my webshop and uh, if you're interested, I will leave the link of my webshop down in the info box so you can check it out. I got this very heavy uh, planter, I will use it outside under our gazebo, but I could also use it indoors uh, for one of our plants down in the living room. I don't know, we'll see. Then let's talk about glass. I got this cute cat figurine, it's lovely, I always pick up cats when I find them, so I will upload this on my webshop very soon. I got it for 5 euros, it's not a hand-blown piece, but I loved it. <laughs> then this is a vintage piece, I need to polish it because it will surely become more shiny. I have also a couple of other pieces with the same, uh, you know, kind of decoration. The glass is very thin, so I'm gonna be very delicate with this one. And this decoration was also used used in Murano Island, so it's originally from Venice, from my area. I still haven't decided whether to resell it or not, let me know down in the comments what you think. Then I got the candle holder, the trio candle holder. I like that it has this kind of rusty patina. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it here because it's really big and it will really... <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. This is really the piece that I was looking for because I needed a small vase and I want to put eucalyptus leaves in it, so this will really be perfect. And um, I don't know, it reminds me of a Japanese vase, but maybe it's not. If you know something about this mark, please let me know down in the comments. I'm really curious to know where it comes from. So yeah, I got it for 5 euros, it is really, really cute and you will surely see it in the decoration of this bathroom. 
Then I got this, um, don't know how to call it, and I got it for one euro. But it is always useful because when I have to take pictures, when I have, uh, um, also when I need to layer things uh, over something, uh, this is very useful. For 10 euros, I got this beautiful vintage globe. I don't think it's really, really old. I mean, it could be from the 70s, from the 60s, but it's lovely and it has this very vintage patina on it. Uh, look at the pretty legs. Oh, it's actually, it's upside down. I was looking for Italy and I couldn't find it because it was upside down. <laughs> okay, so I found it, I found it. It's really a lovely piece. I've seen many globes in vintage stores and vintage markets, but I've never seen one with this look. I don't know what it is, but I loved it so much and I'm happy that I got it. I also got this t-shirt. It reminds me of the logo of Chanel number no. 5. It's really pretty and I've seen online that this retails for like 50 euros. <laughs> I got it for 6, I think. And uh, it's really easy to style. Oh, I forgot to show you my new shorts. They are thrifted. Um, I don't know if you can see them. Maybe from here. I got them brand new with tags at the weekly market. They are so fun for only 2 euros. They are so comfortable. Well, at the end of this first haul, I still need more planters. So we've been thrifting again with our friends Mary and Lele and I found something interesting. Let's go. A few days ago, we went on a tour with our vintage cars with our friends Lele and Mary. You will see her in a minute. And of course, we also went thrifting together. I spotted this cute cat, it looks like a modern piece, it's by the brand Pompidou. Well, if you like this style, you can buy it from Amazon. And look what I found, this would be perfect for my curcuma plant, the price is 5 euros, that is okay. Ciao, allora, oggi ho acquistato questo splendido elefante di cui ne sentivo assolutamente l'esigenza. Come puoi ben capire, mia moglie dopo mesi e mesi di ricerche, poi mia moglie è questa, <laughs> Fabiano, non guardarmi con quello sguardo, anche a te capita a volte di dover sopperire a delle richieste familiari. Bellissima. Che bella che è. Una villa per gli uccellini. Oh, è bellissima. Che scusa posso trovare per comprare una cosa del genere? 119 euro. Insomma. Eh, mi ha dato tutta mano per l'altra paura qua. I haven't been able to collect from the vintage stores all the planters I needed, but at the nursery they have this collection with wonderful natural colors and I fell in love with this planter. And it matches with this pattern. <laughs> they look so good together. But I don't need this dimension, so what am I gonna do? It's time for the second haul of the day. It's gonna be a short one because I can't wait to show you the decoration of the bathroom. So let's start. I got this basket. Um, it's really pretty. I like the design. I like the colors. It matches perfectly with my um, washing board that I have here at the moment. I moved it on the other side of the bathtub. Um, yeah, so I will use this one surely for the decoration. I got this pretty neutral uh, planter to put my curcuma in it. So here's the final results. I like it very much. Then this is the one I found at the nursery. It has beautiful colors. Uh, this plant is not feeling very well because uh, I changed the, the, the pot and uh, she didn't appreciate that. <laughs> well, but she is, she is fine now. Is it strange if I say she is uh, because in Italian, it's la pianta, so the plant is a feminine word. Then for three euros each at another charity shop, I got these uh, prints. They are very special because they were originally designed by Alphonse Mucha. He is one of my favorite uh, artists in art history. Um, this print is called uh, uh, the Le Réveil du Matin, something like that. I'm gonna write it here on the screen, but anyway, it's the moment when the day has just begun. And this is called uh, Eclat de Jour, which means uh, the, the, the following moment of the day, okay? When the sun is shining. And then 
one of my favorite pieces of art that I have in my house is this Chinese painting. It is painted on silk, very special. It represents this bird with flowers. Oh, I need to remove this. Yeah, I got it for 15 euros at the consignment store. Um, it's the prettiest painting in the world. So these are all the wonderful pieces that I collected and now let's start decorating. Carpet. <laughs> so heavy. There it is. Tomorrow is the day of the great reveal and I don't want my husband to use the bathroom. So I wrote him a message. <laughs> it says, don't use this bathroom because it's all clean and tomorrow I'll have to make the video. <laughs> don't use it. Okay guys, are you ready for the final reveal? jungle bathroom so this is another save the plant that's why it has some brown leaves but we don't care it's gonna be beautiful the soap comes from Marsiglia and this plant is a half true plant and a half fake plant because I like to have flowers all year long if you remember these are the vases that I got during my very first uh, thrift trip and I truly like the effect of the light on these days. I also got the new toothbrushes <laughs> for this occasion. This is called Peperomia. 
This is the curcuma that you saw before. She's blooming now. I'm very happy. This is the new tray. Then uh, this was a gift and those uh, you've seen them in one of my latest videos. The shelves are dedicated to Art Nouveau style. That shower gel was a gift from our friends. Um, it's <laughs> three liters of a shower gel. Um, this is another fake plant because here the light is not enough for a real plant. Also these are fake plants, but this is the Sardinian basket that I got last year. My very last buy. And this is another uh, orchid that we saved from that place that you've seen in this video. And uh, she is blooming now and it matches perfectly with the Chinese painting. I need a higher vase here. This is where I store the jewels that I use uh, more often. And this is beautiful mirror <laughs> that I got last summer. I already had all these towels, these two and these two, <laughs> and they match perfectly with the theme of this bathroom. Do I still have the space to have a bath here? Yes, I do. The bathtub is really big. I like this composition and also to light up the candles it will be very relaxing. So that's it. Bye. guys that was it for today I'm really really happy with the results of this bathroom um, I really wanted to demonstrate that you can totally change the look of a room spending less money and having more fun please remember to give a thumbs up to this video to help my channel grow thank you so much for your support I really hope to see you here again on my channel very soon and I wait for you in the next episode ciao